boys and girls. Tonight I want to read a new book that I wrote, and it's called Dallas Goes to the Vet. If every doggy in the world was like our Dallas, everyone would want a doggy. Big and beautiful, she is colored with different stripes. She is a brownish gold color. Dallas is a strong but gentle doggy. One day I noticed a black spot on her. Even though she was happy and the spot did not seem to bother her, I decided to take her to the vet. The vet is a person who takes care of animals. They can tell me what to do. I loaded her up in the car and off we went. I told Dallas to get out of the car. She did not want to. She was afraid of going to see the vet. I told her she would be all right. They were going to help her. I helped her out of the car and I gave a treat to her. I had to put her leash on so she would stay right by my side in their office. Plus, the other dogs, cats, and birds would be in there. I didn't want Dallas and the other pets to fight. We walked into the office. We saw a lazy black and white cat on the counter. He raised his head long enough to see who we were and went back to sleep. There was a kind man sitting behind the counter. He had red hair with big brown eyes. An older gentleman that took to Dallas right away. He said hello to her and patted her on the head. He told her she was a good old girl. He gave me some papers to fill out on a brown clipboard and a pen. I took them and I went and sat down on the big orange bench. Dallas sat right beside me on the floor. She was looking around the office as I filled out her paperwork. I took it back to the man at the counter and went back to sit and wait. He got up and walked around the corner and said, let's get Dallas up on the scale. We need to weigh her. Dallas stopped, or sorry, Dallas stepped up on the scale. It was a huge scale, long and silver in color. She sat down and the vet said, wow, a hundred and five pounds. He asked how much food I was feeding her and I told him about one and a half cups twice a day. He told me for a dog her size, I was feeding her just right. He took us into a smaller room and told me that I would only be a few minutes, or it would only be a few minutes until Dallas could be checked out. Some people came into the room. I introduced them to Dallas, two men and two ladies. They told us that two people were students and asked if they could stay and learn. The one lady took Dallas's temperature. Then the one man looked in her ears and checked her eyes. The lady looked at her nails and checked her for fleas and ticks. The other man looked at the black spot. He said, oh no, this doesn't look good at all. We will have to operate on Dallas. He told me that they have to get rid of the black spot and they would send a sample to see if it's cancer. They let me talk to her for a minute before taking her back. I put my hands on her face and I told her that she was going to be all right. I told her that I loved her and that I would be back to get her. Dallas went with the men and I talked to the ladies for a little while. They told me to come back after I received a call that Dallas would be ready to go home and heal and get well. Later that day, I received a call. The lady was telling me that Dallas was going to be okay and that I could pick her up at 4 p.m. She told me all about the medicines that I would need to give her and she instructed me on the cone that she had to wear on her head. And she told me exactly what to look for if uh, Dallas had any red splotches or anything like that. I was to call them right away. 
I took Dallas home and we got her all comfy. She was in her cone and on her bed. And all we could do now is just walk her and feed her and watch her and help her get healed. A few days later, I took her back to the vet and they looked her over and they told me that she was 100% well and she didn't have cancer. And Dallas also learned that it was a good thing to go to the vet, a good thing to get her operation done, and now she can live happily ever after. The end.